Hello and welcome to the weekly wrap up for this week, Friday, March 29th, 2024. Thanks for tuning in. The end of a very long month and happy Good Friday to all of you and Resurrection, Resurrection Easter Sunday for those of you who celebrate that. We got a lot to cover today, so unfortunately it won't be as succinct as we would like, so let's dive right in. So we had a short week this week in terms of shows. We had Greg Manorino on Monday, uh, had a lot of good information to share, and we'll be talking about that towards the end, some thoughts on, on his show. Uh, and of course, uh, great Holly Celiano, which we did a couple days ago, and the uh, presentation that we shared. And I want to give full acknowledgement to my sister in Christ, Judy J, as, long, as well as several other team members who contributed uh, to the betterment of that broadcast. We mentioned some of those in the show, but as I've always said, this isn't a one-man band. There's a lot of great people that work alongside of us, and we're honored to have them in this movement. So I just want to give a special acknowledgement there accordingly. We have a powerhouse packed of shows for the month of April, so I'm going to have to do them one week at a time. Upcoming the next week, we have the uh, preeminent SG Anon. We have Anne LaFour, who is the architect or the engine room of the movement Bonds for the Win that you've heard a lot about. We had her on several months ago, and we're bringing her back for a reprise. Uh, the wonderfully talented Denise Boland, and of course, the venerable Derek Johnson. And we'll announce next week's the following week, as I said. So let's get now into the weekly headlines. Citigroup to end sweeping overhaul with 5,000 uh, job layoffs this week. I'm sure there'll be more to come there, but that tells you the writing on the wall for the job market, as well as the imminent bank failures that we are all watching closely. Uh, Zimbabwe to launch three more Starlink satellites in July. That's preparation for the August elections, where most notably Nelson Chamisa is the likely candidate, uh, godly candidate to win that, and he will restore all of their money in gold. Uh, the Japanese yen hits an all-time low against the dollar, 34-year low. We talked about that, as you saw on the show with Greg. We're fully anticipating, in our humble opinion, that Japan will be um, forced to join the BRICS under the auspices of China, who has a lot of leverage against them financially. Silver now's new target is $40, and then moving up where 50 from that point. So it was initially 30, but Michael Oliver now uh, from King World News is calling it to be $40 and moving up. Um, Philadelphia Fed uh, suggests the gold standard should happen. Keep in mind, there are 12 uh, Federal Reserve offices throughout the US, Philadelphia obviously being one of them. And just today, an hour ago, Judy Shelton congratulates the gold standard researchers at the Fed. We need to be watching her because we believe Trump, when he comes back optically, will be bringing her back in as uh, possibly uh, either the Fed chairman or the Treasury uh, chairman. And she will, as her first order business, be working to um, do a audit on the Fed to show that they do not have the gold and that she is going to help implement the gold standard back. Wells Fargo Bank of America Citizen Chase closed a total of 18 branches this week with Wells Fargo leading the way with uh, eight closures. I think we fully expect to see that as the banks continue to capsize and go towards the new digital economic asset-backed reality. Exciting for you uh, Boulevard lovers, Venezuela is joining the BRICS, in fact, this year. So we'll have to see how that plays out in terms of them coming back uh, to revalue on the international stage. Uh, gold heads for its best month in more than a year. When we checked it as of this broadcast, it was around 2250. We see oil hovering in the $83 mark, but it is precipitously rising. And also silver is in that uh, 25 to 26 range, which we just talked about. Okay, so now we're gonna cover uh, some questions here and some, uh, I have some commentary that I wanna share with my audience respectively, as this is a kind of a fireside chat opportunity. Um, if you've received uh, in Rumble or any other chat rooms, uh, Telegram or anywhere else, uh, us asking you to join a QFS or an XRP club, rest assured that is not me, that is not us. We don't do that, we never will. Uh, we can't control all the bots and the AI that's going on out there and the, the replicators, if as it were, but rest assured that is not us. Please, um, we don't recommend that you sign up for that because we are certainly not endorsing that. So just a couple of my uh, followers approached me to let me know about this. And so I just wanted to get ahead of it and address it accordingly. Um, question we got a lot about is, I live in Australia, I live in England. Can we join Club Patriot? Yes. If you are a living, breathing human being anywhere in the world, it's wide open global format on the internet. So it's irrespective of where you live. You can join Club Patriot, the, the um, chat room side for free uh, anywhere in the world. So that is not even an issue. So let me allay those concerns. 
Uh, discussion came up about Bitcoin because of what Greg Man Manorino had shared about that. Um, is it good or bad? Um, in our humble opinion, it's a little both. It is a store of wealth. Um, it is being used by both good and bad people. So it's not a, a yes or no thing. It's a little bit of both. But we believe in April, we're going to have the Bitcoin happening where Bitcoin will pull back considerably. And at some point, we do believe it will become like a lot of the other uh, ISO 20022 tokens like XRP, XLM, um, Stellar, Lumens, obviously XLM, for those who keep bringing that up, uh, will at some point become an asset backed uh, commodity or crypto. So it's just like the internet. It's used for good and for bad. So it's not either or. It's a little bit of both. But um, good people and godly people like will be able to the opportunity to get Bitcoin and use it for the correct purposes. So just to kind of reassure you on that. Um, so let's talk a little bit about some of our guests. Uh, some of you have strong reactions, positively or negatively, to some of our guests based on what they say. I'll remind many of you that we put in the disclaimer at the beginning of the video that the views and opinions expressed by the guests are solely theirs and theirs alone and do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or the channel content owners. That would be Chris. And that is the case. So what we're attempting to do in this movement here, to the best of our ability as humans, is to give you the best possible information that we can source, that we pray about, that we feel uh, comfortable sharing with you. We're not perfect, as none, none of you are as well, uh, but we're doing our level best to bring that to you so you can draw your own conclusions. Do I like Greg Manorino? Of course. Do I agree with everything he says? No. Um, do I feel that sometimes a little bit in this movement, it becomes pessimistic? Yes, which is why we're trying to inject optimism. Um, he is not sold, as I know it right now, that the digital economic asset-backed reality is the new system. We believe otherwise. That's fine. He, he's a smart man. He's a caring man. He is entitled to his conclusions. He is a subject matter expert. And that's why we bring them on. We're not asking you to agree with everyone, but what we're asking you to do is take a look at the information, the breadth and the depth of it, of the range of guests that we bring in so that you can pray about it, decide what is right for you. Some guests you will like more than others. So please don't shoot the messenger. We're just trying to bring you the truth to the best of our ability. So I will leave it at that. Um, I do want to say on a personal note, uh, talk to our team about it, and we conclusively are a little bit disappointed by some of the movement in this Patriot community in respect to the right fighting. Um, a lot of people saying, this is the date, she's wrong, I'm right, you know, you're a fool, I'm, I'm not a fool. This backbiting and fighting is absolutely unproductive, and we're not about that, okay? We're created this channel expressly to get away from that. Um, frankly, the only person that wins in that is the enemy, Satan. We all lose. We need to be coming together. Now, it's clear that everyone, including me, is dealing with stuff. We're all dealing with family, personal pressures, work, finances, health, you name it. I, I'm very, we're very aware of that, okay? But that's when we need to lift each other up the most, not kick each other down and pile on. That is totally counterproductive. Um, we don't even bash other truthers in the community, whether we agree with them or not. So that should tell you something. They have the right to their beliefs and opinions and their research, just as we do. There's a space for everyone here, okay? Um, so I really would like to see us kind of coming together as a community as it relates to this channel, not putting each other down, not trying to be right. The goal here was never to be, as far as we're concerned, was never to be right. The goal was to win and cross the finish line together. And the only way that we see you do that is by providing the facts, praying about it, helping one another, lifting each other up. Remember, there's new people coming in here who are watching you experience bets. You know, some of us have been in this a long time, 11 years for me. I know people 15, 20, even 30 years, you know, and anyone who puts a date down, it's almost a guarantee. It's not going to happen on that date. This is God's blessing. It's his timing. He knows when it's best. We just have to wait as frustrated as we are, as tired as we are, all those things are valid. We still have to wait. But it's been my experience, the things that we have to wait for the longest are also the most rewarding as well. So please, folks, come together and draw out any of these haters and bots and trolls who come in to seek discord or undermine or try to create strife. Don't pay them any mind. Get, we're just we're going to get rid of those people because they're just they're energy vampires. We don't need that. 
Okay, we want to be positive here. We make mistakes, but we do the best to our ability to bring you this information. So let's give each other a little bit more grace, okay? Please, that is definitely needed, especially in these times. I said my piece, that's it. And I'll leave you with that. Again, I hope you have a very safe and wonderful holiday weekend, whatever you choose to do by yourself or friends or family. And we look forward to seeing you in a fresh new month next week with some great guests. And uh, we're very excited about what is to come in the not too distant future. Take care. Have a great day.